So I'm so glad that you could be part of the red carpet event. Um, I have worked on sets with you before, and you got to do some really cool things I haven't tried yet, like the the, the stand-ins. How was that on the CSI, and how was that experience? It's fun. I mean, my passion is always being in front of the camera, but it's a good way to learn more behind the camera and kind of connecting with the actors. And it's an honor regardless of just being on sets and working with big stars like that. So honestly, to me, I'm staying humble. Whatever I get, I'll take. You know, you can always learn something. So also I want to sh you to share with the viewers from Vegas View, the social media network, what is your show? How can they follow you? So I'm actually the host of Undiscovered, which is on the same network that we are on right now, social media shows. And you can find me every Wednesday. We go live from 3 to 4 p.m. Also, what is your IMDb page and maybe your Instagram? Yeah, so my IMDb, you can search me on Google. It's just Priscilla Moy, P-R-I-S-C-I-L-L-A-M-O-Y. You can find me Facebook, Instagram, same name. Yeah. Also, I know that you do stunts. Can you share a little bit about your stunt background? Yeah, I mean, technically, I'm a model and actor first, and I had a gymnast and dance background. So whenever I get the chance to train stunts, whether I get a role in an action film or something like that, then that's when I'll incorporate all my athleticism into that. So I'm fairly new, but I, I loved having the opportunity and putting my all into it. And I see she gets things done. She knows how to um, put herself out there and good hard work. Uh, and she's gorgeous and beautiful, and she has her own show, which uh, um, uh, um, am I um, going to be on, hopefully, a guest? Wait, wait, what's it called again? Undiscovered. And I am undiscovered, so yes. Um, I'm going to hand this over if you want to just do a little bit of talking so they can um, do the interviews. All right. Hi, guys. Of course, I am Priscilla Moy. I'm so, I feel so unprepared, but anyways... Um, Welcome. Like she said, it's a Silver State Film Festival, and I'm here to interview some amazing stars. Um, we're going to get started, and we are here for our next guest. Please come by. Hi, how's it going? I feel good. Good. We have met before. Met I'm pretty before. sure we yeah, have. Like yes, it's yeah. so good to see you again. I've always wanted to be in contact. So I'm so blessed to come across you again. So tell us a little bit about, you know, why you're here and if you're excited and what you're looking forward to. Yeah, we are filming our uh, film here. Our screening is on a Sunday at 4 p.m. for Death Club. Oh, you know the Death Club, yeah. Death Club. Yeah. Yeah. Death Club. Yes. We, well, everyone we has showed entire it. film in Las Vegas. You know that, maybe. Yes. Yeah. I wish I was part of it. Well, Correct. future, future <laughs> things, future maybe, film. right? Yeah, no future problem. films. Yeah. But, you know that, yeah. Yes. So, so I'm really excited to have you here, interviewing you again. Thank you. Thanks. I can't That's wait to see your pleasure, work. Yeah. It's going to be absolutely amazing. That's our pleasure, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you guys yeah. so much. Say something? Yes. Yeah, we're screening on our own film. It's Death Club on Sunday, four o'clock, and that's horror movie. So, and so we have please come our, and yeah. join us. Yeah. 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 Do you mind if I show one of these? Oh cards yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a viewers. Okay, yeah. great. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, here it is, this. guys. This is the car. Death yeah. Club, a Patel Death Films Club, production. Films. Okay, so right over here. Make yeah. sure you guys come see it. It was shot here in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. On October third is Sunday at four p.m. Theater number, Theater number eight. Theater number eight, guys. So make sure to come okay, out. Yeah, we yeah. are at the Orleans okay. Hotel and Casino, so make sure to come see it. Thank you guys thank so you. much. Thank you. That's hand this back to you. you. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to keep it going. We're going to have our next red carpet guest on. Hi guys, how are you? I am Priscilla, nice to meet Ray, you. Nice to meet you. Priscilla, nice to meet Cat. you. Cat, okay, yeah. would you guys like to introduce yourselves to Sure, the yes. Hi, Greg Homan, director, writer, producer, and this is also another producer here, Ken Clemente. Yeah. So we got two producers here, and so what film are you guys presenting at this time? Divorce festival? a Love Story, yes. That's uh, playing tonight at 7.30. Okay, great. And can you tell us a little bit about it? Was it filmed in Las Vegas? Was, Is there anything we should look forward yeah. to when seeing this film? Yeah, it was filmed in Las Vegas, mainly in Pahrump. Yeah, we had a okay. venture out there, and uh, a lot of it takes place just down the road, so... Great. Mm -hmm. See, like people literally think that Vegas is underrated. You can't do anything here, but no. there's so much happening here, right? There's plenty. It's you have to find it. But once right, you find it, it right, exist. right. Well, that's absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to come see it. It's glad to meet you guys. We'll connect after, obviously. Right. It's been yes. <laughs> a pleasure. A pleasure Thank to you meet so you much. guys. Nice to meet Take you. Care. You guys look great.
All right. Well, as you can see, we've already got some amazing producers out here that have amazing movies coming out at this film festival. So there's so much talent here to see, so many amazing people to meet. And so while we're at it, why don't we just keep going and welcome our next guest. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. What's going on? What's your name, sir? My name is Tony DeMuro. Tony. And my, I have a film in the festival. It's a short film. It's called St. Martin of Tours. St. Martin of Tours. And was that filmed here in Las Vegas no, as well? it was filmed in New York City. Oh, really? So you came all the way from the East yeah, Coast? Yes, yes, all the way from New York City. It was filmed on 125th Street. Okay. That's amazing. And so are you originally from New York or yeah. you're originally from? You can't tell by the way I'm told. Yeah, you know, you can't assume. You know, you might live here now. Yeah, Vegas sure. is full of everybody. Yeah. Well, I'm a Chicago girl myself, so nice. big cities. I, I totally understand so you. Know, you must know my aunt and uncle. They live yeah. in Chicago. Probably. Yeah. You know, we probably run into each other, right? But it's amazing that you're here. So what brings you to Vegas to showcase your film? Well, uh, um, the film, uh, it's a film I made with my wife. It's a 10 minute short. It's kind of experimental. Um, this is a great platform to exhibit films like that, especially short films. There's no, there's really very little, if any, commercial value. So festivals like this do a great service for, for yes. artists like myself, because I think film is an art. Oh, it is. So, so uh, um, and our film has done pretty well. We've won, um, we won a few awards. We were, uh, we won best uh, drama short at the Silicon uh, Beach Film Festival, and we won Best Spiritual Short at the Golden State Film Festival. So hopefully we'll win something out here. But this is a really wonderful place to meet other filmmakers, right. to get feedback on your film, because it's the audience that informs the film. So this is a great way of doing that in a very, very low, uh, low stress environment. Oh, it is. And it's great. And as an actor myself, it's amazing that we get in contact with so many people, exactly. so amazing people that just love to do it for the art of it. You know, right? I've kind of come to this kind of late in life, unfortunately, but it's all about relationships. And, mm -hmm. and platforms like this allow you to really right. uh, to make them. Right. And that's absolutely amazing. Well, we are honored to have you here. Yeah. I am blessed to meet you, Thank you know, you. so I'm Thank glad you. that we can connect this way. Any opportunity to talk about my film, I'm really grateful oh, for. Thank absolutely. You. Well, I'd love to talk about this with you a little <laughs> yes, later. Anytime. So we'll have a full conversation. Conversation. Okay, yes. Tony. Well, thank you so Ten much. Minutes. It's a pleasure to meet thank you. Thank you. Oh, sure. sure. Good. What's your name? You. Priscilla. 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 Tony. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, as you can see, I'm blessed right now to meet all of these amazing people, and we're still going. There's so many amazing stars to come meet. And, sir, you look like a star ready for the carpet. What is your name, sir? My name is Joseph Alexander. Joseph. Well, yeah, I'm Priscilla. Nice it's a pleasure you. to meet you. How are you? And so, do you have a film here that you're presenting? I do. It's uh, called Single Women in America. It's about women's uh, kind of changing role in society. It's kind of tied to a, a larger series of four or five other films that fall under the MAGA category. So nonpartisan, we don't make a judgment, but kind of trying to explain the make, uh, make America Great Again phenomenon. Women are part of that. The film after it just came out on Tubi, it's called The Death of an Industry. It's about how the retailing jobs, right? Jobs change, that is a part of the whole thing, right? We're gonna bring jobs back to America, so. So yeah, this has uh, been, the premiere of this particular short film, but I've screened with the, uh, Peter and John. I have several festivals, so I've screened. You so know, this is not your first runaround. You're no. used to these festivals. Quite a few. And, yeah. yeah, so we're really It's been a few decades, it. actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, As though. As a matter so of fact, my most notable film since we're in Vegas is a documentary about, uh, you might have heard of the film Casino, right? Yes. Scorsese yes, I have. film? Yes. Well, that's good because back home years ago, the real casino is like one of my first, I guess, successes, if you will. It's about the real people who are the basis for the casino. They were Chicago wise guys. Frank Lefty Rosenthal, Tony Spilatro, and uh, interviewed them in Chicago. Well, friends and family, the yeah. surviving friends and family. Yeah. Not everybody made it through, but uh, that was on IFC and Bravo. That also screened at Silver State uh, three years ago. That's amazing. Uh, a shorter yeah. version. Being from a Chicago one, it's nice to hear that. Really? That's a connection. Well, there you go. There you go. So yeah, it's meant to be it. that we met. Yeah. Well, absolutely amazing to meet you. I'm really excited to Likewise. see your work, yeah. and I'm sure we'll connect later. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so Thank much. You. Oh, oh, watch out for the wires, sir. Are we together? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. Well, as you can see, lots of talent coming here. We obviously have more interviews to go. So why don't we welcome this gentleman? Hello, sir. Doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. How are you? Good. How are you doing? And what's your name, sir? Eric. Eric. Grooms. Nice to meet you. And obviously, we have our beautiful Nicole Vegas on the carpet. Um, I wanted to share about Eric Grooms. We got to talk earlier before uh, we had to start the interviews here. And uh, he has midlife. Uh, uh, upcoming movie which yeah. is really cool because I got to check out the IMDB page and uh, you have a, a lot going on too in the future so I want you to share everything that you shared with me with on what you've been doing can I bring my friend Jason in Jason's one of the stars of my movie can I bring oh, Jason I'm just gonna in? Go, come in here. okay go get Jason um, no we love coming to uh, film festivals when we're accepted and um, Hi, happy to have this is Jason now. Jason is uh, one of the stars of midlife and um, yeah we we're both stand-up comics by trade, okay. and then we live in New York City, so when the pandemic hit, they shut down all of our comedy stages, so we decided to film a movie, and uh, got some filmmaker friends, some actor friends, and we're able to make an hour and, what, 49-minute yeah. film that uh, graciously has been accepted at the Silver State Film Festival, and we just watched it on the big screen. It was beautiful. That's, Loved that's it. amazing. See, the pandemic, as bad as it was, it inspired so many people to put that all into a piece of work and now be able to present it and, you know, showcase the art. Yeah. Everybody. I have a question. I know you both have roles in this movie. I want to know how you prepared for each of those roles. Um, it's funny. This particular film, if you watch his and I dynamic, it's basically who we are in real life. Like, we're both comics. So if you watch it, it's basically how we interact with each other. And my character is my own name. I'm okay. Jason, I'm playing Jason, and I'm a comedian, and I'm playing a comedian, so, and I'm playing his friend, and I am his friend, as you can see. No, even, uh, even during filming, we were able to, um, like, he stayed in my house, because we filmed it in my properties, yeah. um, and he stayed with us, and my, my wife and family, and so, yeah, it was just, it was a great yeah. experience, you the whole thing. You adopted him, huh? That, that was <laughs> well, no, he, you can't get rid of him, that's the bad no, thing. Like, joined at the hip, now you're like, you're yeah. like me, everywhere Yeah, it's hard, <laughs> but he will show up. Every once in a while, unannounced with a glass of wine, and that for that or a glass of something else, I, I had to put down over there. Oh yeah, yeah. We can't have any, we can't have any sponsorship stuff, right? No, I, I no don't logos. know. You yeah. know, it's. We're not going to tell you. All right. We're going to go off camera. There you go. What's that? Um, can you share a little bit about your upcoming film too? Yeah, we. Um, that's the other thing. When you when you make something that's good, and people like this look at it and say, we want to more people need to see this. Let's do another one. So um, I got my start in performing, believe it or not, as a preacher. I went to college as a, to a Bible college to learn how to preach. And, you know, that life is very stressful. It's very, there's, you're in a fishbowl. And so I had this idea that my, my Keith Meek, who's our owner, my, my, my co-owner of my company, he and I both were preachers. And we, we wrote a story about those pressures and how they can really force you to go certain ways. The, the movie's called God's Will. Uh, it stars, I'm actually one of the stars of that film. I didn't direct this one. I only only acted in it. Um, but uh, Ron Barba, who's also in Midlife, is the co-star of that. And it's just a heartwarming story. It's it's weird because one of the one of the actors we we hired to play one of the roles, he goes, it's a, it's a movie about Jesus with girls in their underwear. Oh, goodness. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already and like, you know, what is that called again? What movie? God's what Will. Because... And one guy's like, wait, you're going to a strip club? I'm like, I'm sorry you live in a world that sometimes preachers don't end up at a strip club, right? It's it's a real look at faith and your own, who you are in the in the world. So, yeah, we, we've got more stuff happening, but that's our next big thing that's coming out this winter is God's will. But uh, Midlife is still, you know, it's releasing worldwide after the festival circuit here, probably at the end of uh, December. So, very, thank um, you. I do want you to give a show, social media uh Shout out to For how sure. they can find you. How okay. can they find First, you guys? Find him. Support you. Find him. You can find me at Jason Scoop Comedy on TikTok and at Jason Scoop on Instagram and Jason Scoop Comedy on YouTube. I'm all over the place. Lots of content. Just got a new podcast out. And uh, He's yeah. One of the doing... best impressionist in New York City, if not in the world. Uh, he actually was the first, the winner of the first season of First Impressions with Dana Carvey. Yeah. So um, for me, Eric Grooms, A R I C Grooms. My name is Eric, A R I C, because my mom. My mom loved the name Eric, but she had an ex-boyfriend named Eric. So my dad said, you have to change how you spell it. Oh. Instead of just naming him. Right. Now. So, yeah, I'm Eric Grooms, A-R-I-C Grooms. Only person in the world. A-R-I-C Grooms. Eric Films is a company in midlife. 
uh, yes. Midlife Movie is the uh, film. And before I let you go, can you show me one impression? Just one. Well, look, folks, we call it impression, right? And nobody does impressions, frankly, like I do impressions, and we're doing tremendous things that I can tell you very strongly. Come here. So bigly. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? That was President Biden. Okay. That was Joe He's Biden. He's working on it, though. <laughs> Thank you so much. For Thank you. Thank you guys interview. so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate you. Thank you. What an Thank honor. Thank you so much. Lovely meeting you. Lovely and I love meeting your you. Ears. Thank you. I'm sure we'll talk I'm, after this. I'm, I'm oh. heading out. Oh, you're oh, you already said, oh. I guess I'll stay here. And I'll, I'll, I'll get that next person. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pictures. Oh, I thought you were bringing them here. You want some? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. So I should much. know that by now. Pictures. Love it. That's so funny. Yeah, like a little higher. Thank you. Did you get the whole body? Maria, Maria, can we do it over? Um, have another people that start in line. Can we give a little shout out to you? Yes. Yes. Please. Yes. Social media networking. Is she? Yes. Who body, please? Who body? Let, let's do she a. She is actual star. No. Can you hold this uh, moment? Yes. Go, go Passing it down. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do sideways. Yeah, sideways. Without the mic. Yeah. Okay. Really got to go behind the scene, talk to a lot of talents. Come on down. Come on down. Hi. Hi. Hand this over this way, though. Again, I see Priscilla and Nicole, oh, what a yes. pleasure! Yes, I'm gonna have this yeah. back though. She's just so good with that. Oh, Nicole, I'm so unprepared. Oh, I'm sweating, guys. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buff you up a little bit? Sure, you can yeah. buff. I'm already buffed up right here. I don't need to be buffed up over here. <laughs> All right. So obviously, like the first thing we're gonna do is have you introduce yourself to the audience. So. Sure. My name is Greg Merrill, and I'm with Merrill American Comedy. My other side is working right now. He's shooting a film with Steven Spielberg. Just kidding, Lori. Oh, Are you? I, I wish you was. You didn't call me. I I know, I should have called both of you, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are so dressed up, I feel underdressed. Oh, what do you mean? Well, oh, I actually great. have a dress a under this. Color. Yeah, it's a great, great color. Blue oh, blue thanks. Blue. Thanks. I might be dressed blue, but I don't feel blue. No, no you can't no. be. You can be. We're cheery. We're, we're ready to have some fun at this red carpet event, which it took me a little bit to find. It, it did oh. for me, too. I was I, sweating by the time I got up here. Yeah, I got a tour of the Orleans here. It was, yes. um, Once you go up the escalator, you're cool. But see, I have I an advantage because right I used to work here. Oh, oh, that, so I know. Yeah, so I didn't go up the right escalator. That's yeah, what, I went to a went. different event. There's another event happening here, which so happens I look like exactly like I belong. Oh, with, uh, my goodness. I'm glad. Event, so I was I, like. Guess what? And that's what I, I knew I wasn't belonging there because they all looked at me differently. I'm like, no, I'm just. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad like, you, you arrived. I'm like, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm glad you finally arrived. This is this is good. Late, yeah. Obviously. But yeah, we're so glad to hear. Why to give a here. shout out? Yes. Though, how can they find him and what does he want to connect to? What is yes. well, your specialty? I am a comedian, uh, Merrill Merrick Comedy. My other half is not with me today. And MerrillMerrick.com or MerrillMerrickComedy.com, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, the whole bit. Uh, we are doing a little. Uh, teaser, so to speak, or an intro for a sitcom that we're working on. Our producer, Maria Pereza, is a genius. I don't know what else to say. She's a genius. She's putting it all together, and it's going to work out just fine. It is. Congratulations on that. So Thank we'll have to you. stay tuned and follow you on your social media pages. Definitely, definitely. It won't be long. There's, you know, we're writing the scripts. We have most of the scripts already written already. And, uh, Excuse me, I'm getting all choked up. Oh, 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 oh uh, I lost my voice. There it is. It's right there. Can I go get it? Okay, now I got my voice back. This is good. So, yeah, so we're going to um, see who else is coming through. I know okay. they had a list of everything, and this is a four day event. This film festival is four days. Oh. And if you go on the social media network, uh, Maria will be able to uh, post the link so you can buy your tickets. Um, come be part of the festival. It's four days, well, three days now, three days, including today. Uh, and you could get a ticket and uh, connect to fellow filmmakers that have been winning awards. I know They're somebody that, done. really, I know somebody got a ticket on the way, but it was by a cop. They were oh, speeding. No, 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 we don't want that kind of ticket. No, no, we don't want that kind of ticket. I, I, uh, no, that's a bad ticket. That's an expensive ticket. It is, definitely. These tickets here are a lot cheaper. 
you got this. Alrighty. All right. Well, it's glad to have you here. Always Thank a pleasure you. to see you. Always I see this see man every too. week, and he always makes me smile. Oh, so thanks. yeah. Nice seeing you. Fantastic. Nice seeing you too. Talk, huh? You know. Okay. Yeah, we always have talk. I walk behind you. Though. Yep, I walk behind you. Yes. Well, until we wait for yeah, until we wait for the other guests to arrive. I see somebody. Then. That should be maybe be here. Do you want to come around this way? Want to come on around? Let's see. See how you just wheel them in. Hello, sir. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi there. Hi there, sir. And may I have your name, please? Stephen Mandel. Stephen. Well, I am Priscilla. Stephen it's nice to meet you. Hello, Priscilla. Hello, hello. How are you? It's glad to have you. And obviously, have you met the beautiful Nicole Vegas? Vegas. Nice to meet you. Yes. So, who are you? And what are you about? And I came out to support the Silver State Film Festival. I'm a previous winner for Unwritten back in three, four years ago before COVID. Congratulations on that. What made you have the idea for Written and when it was completed well, and winning an award? How was all that? Unwritten wasn't my idea. I just uh, was a producer on it. I've been producers too. That's, that's how things get, the movie magic happens with the... Like a hired hand. Yes. Um, do you have any other upcoming projects in the making? We just did a uh, House in Time, which is going to be coming out in theaters. We have a theatrical lease, and that's why it's not in this particular film festival. Otherwise, it would have been. Is it? It's not that one with the Triple Seven films, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, it is. See how now? Now we're going to talk a little bit more. See now you remember. Now you remember. Oh, you know. no. <laughs> I feel left out, guys. I'm a little left out. Oh, that's, that's how it works. That's how it works. Um, how did you get connected with the Triple Seven films? Through Jeremy Settles. Yes, he's sad. I was originally I was originally going to do it with him, but I had COVID, okay. so I could I couldn't do it at the time. And then okay. he did it with somebody else, but then he brought me back in. So he came back around when you were all better and uh. Well, so. I, I don't know if I'll ever be you all better, but you know. You're, you're doing fine. You're here today. How can you get any better than this place right, right here? Right now, and, and between so and between two years. beautiful ladies, exactly. exactly. Um, so when that <laughs> I, I can stay here forever. See? <laughs> Maybe I'll make it happen that way. You are not now leaving. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just but kidding. I'm going to be doing a bunch more films. I okay. I finance a lot of them. Great. So when people want to connect with you, especially being a producer, because that's really important to have uh, the financing behind any kind of film. You need the money. That's how, that's the way it works. How can people connect with you on social media? Oh, don't. Don't. Oh, no. So how? So they they're just gonna it's just gonna be word of mouth. Do I have to talk to Jeremy? Is he gonna have to tell me? Uh, well, you know, Jer Jeremy picks some films that he likes. I always support Jeremy. I have some of my own projects that I wrote. And, uh, Do you want to share any any genres? Well, what are you um, geared well, to? Well, I have one called Trailer Trash. It's a it's a sitcom. It's a TV show, so it's not actually a movie. But we'll do like a pilot. Is it comedy then? Because it sounds like it's Sit like, Sitcom, sitcom yeah, yeah, is yeah, comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, Situation just, comedy. You just be kind to me here today, all right? I have these I'm heels a, on. I'm in pain. And, I will yeah. carry you anywhere you like oh, to go. Oh, do you hear this? Gentleman anywhere. Too. Yes. You, you heard it. Keep you, keep you <laughs> off your feet. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for taking the time to interview with us. And, yes. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what uh, more people in this film festival. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to be doing a lot of stuff, and now as the movie thing is starting to come back, it, is. it was definitely a little scary for a while. The theaters were shut down. They shut down making films. They shut everything down, and I guess it's going to take a little while to start back up. Absolutely, you know. yeah. but it is, it's happening. There's it a lot is. more There's picking a lot up, of especially in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. hearing so much going on. Um, there's always a project being made, yeah. production, a lot of connections, so that's well, where it's at. Eventually, hopefully, I'll have my own movie studio here. And, uh, That'll be fabulous. I'm working, Remember us. I'm really <laughs> working on a hotel called Paradise Resort, and if we get the hotel, we're going to be putting a movie studio in the, in the resort. Wow. Amazing. When is this in the makes? Like, what's it's in the today? makes right now. It could, it could, uh, I could get a green light as early as tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. But we're having. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I wish you the best of luck. It's a pleasure to meet you, and you know, I hope to see all your things succeed. Yes. You Ready for a picture? Oh, sure. I'm gonna get a photo. How could you go wrong with this, right? 
Thank you. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> well, all right. Well, that that's been many producers, many writers that are going to have their film shown. So we're going to go on break right now. When we come back, we're going to have many more to interview. See you right after the break. Thank you. Welcome to social media shows. Have you been watching social media shows recently? Of course you have. We have been live streaming for four years across social media platforms. We produce over 70 shows with over 1,000 episodes. In the process, we've helped over 100 creators realize their dreams and start their own show. We give platforms to promote your business. If you are an artist, if you have an event, if you are entrepreneurs, or if you have a story. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe and follow us on major social media platforms. And if you have a great idea of a show, join us. Social media shows can help you produce and live stream your own show. Let us help you make your dream become a reality. Hi guys and welcome back to the Silver State Film Festival in the year 2022 and obviously we have already met so many people here that are presenting their films at one of the biggest festivals here in Las Vegas. There's so much talent here, so many genres bringing film back to life and showcasing the art of what movies really are. And so now we're going to have some more guests coming on here and I'm going to welcome him right now, sir. Hello, it is a pleasure to meet you. I'm Priscilla. What is your name? Jonathan Ruggiero. Jonathan. Hi there. Hello, and obviously I'm assuming you're going to have a film presented yes, here. I do. Yes, and tell us a little bit about that. Uh, my film is Happy Hour, and it's about three actresses from the direct to video 90s era that reunite over dinner one night, and old feelings come up. Wow, so it's a little bit of a rom-com, or is it just romantic? Is it a little it's not. It, it's not not romantic. It's just three women. Okay. But um, it, it's more of like a light drama. Okay, a light drama. Well, that's amazing. Was it filmed in Las Vegas? Are you Vegas yes. based? Yes, I am. Yes, it was filmed uh, earlier this year in uh, in uh, April. Okay, that's amazing. So obviously, like you would agree that there's so much here in Las Vegas to film. Many oh, actors. Oh yes, absolutely. And is this one of your first films, or have you been doing this for it, some time? It is my first. Um, it is my first short film, and uh, my next one is in pre-production, shooting in a couple of weeks. Oh, nice! Well, hopefully that we can connect. We're glad to have oh, you here. Yes, definitely. Yes, I'm glad to have you here. This is obviously a big honor for you. I'm sure you're really excited to have your first film here. At this festival. Thank you very much. It, it is a great honor. Thank you so much. Yes. And where can we find you? Do you have social media? Do you are you um, on social media? My, I am. Uh, my social media is JR Media Prod. It's short for JR Media Productions. Well, it's an honor to have you here. That's absolutely amazing to meet you, and I can't wait to see your film. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, thank you. It's so nice to meet you. Sir, can you come in this way? Yeah, with her. All right. Uh, short a couple weeks ago. So also in the immigrant in the immigrants journey theme here like embracing your identity here in the US uh, not so much like Mo because Mo does have the documentary component uh, but this one is more like a standalone drama story that we really want to develop into full feature and uh, coming soon so I love it so um, the IMBD page you have what is your name so I can check you out so it's Guillermo E. Barajona C because like my name is a little long so I put the initials just for like my middle and second last name like so it, like <laughs> what's your whole name uh, Guillermo Enrique Barajona Chinchilla so what? it's, it's, it's it. a mouthful so <laughs> that's why I'm sure a little bit love so <laughs> and are you based here in Las Vegas yes yes I'm a okay, producer based here in Vegas so and you filmed in Las Vegas yes as well, yes right? actually, that's amazing absolutely. I love to hear it yeah yeah no we filmed 
at the usual place, you know, great bar downtown, and of course at Illumin Latte Coffee Shop. So check them out because they were really kind to us as location. So, so with somebody that just met you in person, yes. do you have anything that you'd want to share that you'd want somebody to know about you? Well, I mean, uh, that, that's a good question. I don't yeah, know yeah, what to yeah. say. <laughs> like, you know, like that one guy, I didn't know he was a comedian, and then yeah, he yeah. also did impersonation. So that yeah, yeah. threw me back a little bit. Well, I mean, like, you know, my background is more of a writer when I first started, so I have two books uh, on Amazon. Wait, that's important to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, so. He's mem- out on me right here. <laughs> <laughs> memoir, the, the, the better selling one is the memoir, which is my story of, like, surviving the earthquakes in El Salvador in 2001. Oh and, like, goodness. sort of explaining the story of, like, my life as well before that. And then the second one, which was the earlier pr- uh, publication, is, uh, it's a, my little love story to Vegas. It's, like, a s- mystery thriller, like, you know, mobsters and stuff called Death Gamble, all, all taking that's place really in Vegas. Cool. Too, I'm so. gonna have to look you up and um, check out all that because that's so you experienced an earthquake. Yes. What was the meter on that? What was that? Seven point nine. Wow. So that that was that was that was intense. And I don't want to. It was like it. shaking, or you, then you have to read the book for the rest of it. Though. But like it got was shaking oh, violently. No, so. <laughs> No, 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 but like, no, no, but seriously, yeah, no, yeah. no, probably no, not. No, 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 not for that one, not for that one, that's why we wrote a book for that one, just write and forget, so. and then that's it. Um, no, but yeah, no, it's, I guess, like, the advice that I do like to give people, like, you know, just do your, be yourself, you know, like, just write the thing that you have been thinking of writing, just film the thing you have been wanting to film, that's sort of, like, why I like doing this, you know, like, I started off doing shows at downtown Vegas, you know, really couples cool. game show. Okay. Oh, the co- yeah, share the shows that you've done. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, like, when I started in production seven years ago, I started, like, uh, at the Plaza Hotel. We had a co- show called Lovers and Losers, which was a couples game show with Todd Bridges. Oh, uh, awesome. so Todd for- Bridges? Yeah, yeah. yeah he got a set with him. Yeah, he, we were, you shared. He's really cool. Yeah, he's great. Oh, he's great. So, Todd, are you seeing this? Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it was a great show for, like, the time that we were there. Uh, and then we also worked, I was um, in the next year, you know, I w- worked alongside with uh, Vegas Talk, the downtown podcast. Very that we cool. also were there through. You know, I was with them for 2015, 2016, 2017 until we ended. So that's how I started in my journey of production. More live production. Cool. And then over the years, it's been like picking up like many pilots and stuff like that until not doing this now. So I love it. I loved everything that you shared. So I'm yeah, going to yeah. behind the scene pick his brain a little bit. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to <laughs> do too much. You know, no, of course not. Like <laughs> he has great energy and I oh. cannot wait. So to just share videos. your film yes. one more time. Yes, Mo. It's uh, MOE, uh, which is a comedy documentary hybrid it's going to be in block t tonight at 7 30 p.m right here at silver state film festival Excellent. so thanks so much yeah. for appreciating your time yeah us. thank you so much i'm, I'm excited to please sure meet you both yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will have to so so we're going to take a quick picture yes. yeah yes yeah, absolutely you guys are amazing yeah. thank you so much thank you so much for your time yeah, yeah. Cool. I didn't know about the Instagram. I'm hardly on Instagram, so it's more more Facebook. I yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, no, Insta, Insta, you know, like, yeah. Do no. you have any special groups either? Do you have any more special? I mean, I don't know if we're still talking about it. It's supposed to be behind the scene, but we're going to keep going a little bit. If that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any groups that you have uh, that you want to include people in? What is a good group that uh, fellow talent actors can be part of? Do you have any of those uh, kind of connections? With- well, I'm not so much in like the small acting groups. You know, I know like some of my, you know, many friends that are producers, actors yeah, yeah, also yeah. in town. So like we try to go to like mixers as often as possible because then we're working, so. There's, you know. there's a couple ones coming up with that 49 hour. Yeah, the 49 festival. hour film festival we're coming up. Not in this one yet. Oh, not not, not yet. I'm going to get that 1K. <laughs> we'll see about that. No, my brother is the editor for most, so he's thinking about that. So I'm like, mm, if I have time, I might, but otherwise, you know, it's we'll see. Fun challenge. Have you ever been in any of those uh, 48 hour, 49 hour? Uh, not like directly involved, just like providing some like tips in there for my friends when when they have asked me about it but that's about it nothing like oh i'm there in between at all the action yeah so (laughs) yeah it'll tell you until that day Uh uh-huh have you ever done it no i haven't done it it's you want to do it it's extensive it's expensive. It's ext- no, extensive. 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 Oh, extensive. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's it's like exhausting because oh, like you get is. the prompts the third night and then you gotta film the second night and hopefully you're done filming the second night and it's just editing right, until like right. that line. So. Oh yes, so. yes. Okay. Drive. You oh yeah, yeah. That, like, mm-hmm. you know. yeah. But if you got a team that's got chemistry and they're ready to go, you know, yeah. you fix it in pre, so you don't fix it in post. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. It's so hard to do an editing. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. So, so, especially with that time crunch. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. So thank you so much for all that insight yeah. too. Because then now I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll wait till next time at the next uh, 48 hours. So at first I was like, I'm yeah, yeah. This. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm yeah, gonna yeah, win. yeah. You know. I'm just gonna maybe I'll I'll help on a set with yeah, yeah. Uh, whoever needs it. Of course. Just so I have an idea of uh, what it takes. Just yes, like of that, course. Yeah. Really. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's it's great experience. Just hopping on in one set, like it's a wealth of knowledge. Especially if you can find yourself a good team, good people that you can work with, and you know you can. You can create art, you can create whatever, you know. You can turn that on and off. Yeah. You can just go and then uh -huh. you're done. Go and get yeah. it. You network with a lot of people too. You meet yes, a lot of people. Absolutely. So. Maybe um, we'll take a, another little break, get hydrated before they yeah. let out all the, the winning participants. Uh, yeah, so I'm, no, tired. I can't wait I'm to. feeling it already. I'm thirsty. Um, <laughs> but there's so much good knowledge, and um, I love uh, meeting ta talent and connecting. Oh, people. yeah, connecting. There's so and much I need to know stories. about him, and then he started opening up more. And I really love um, being on these red carpet events because you never know who you're going to meet, who you're going to connect Exactly, exactly. And then collaborate on upcoming exactly. films. Exactly. And that, so that's that. the point. You know, all of this industry is about, you know, networking with a bunch of people and making art and showing it to you guys. So yeah, it's an amazing then, opportunity. Yeah. Find your team. Find your team and go with it. Build and uh, learn yeah, how to craft. Of course. The craft is, the craft is everything. Yeah, so but anyways, we happen. will catch you guys after the break. Great. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Hello everyone, this is Joseph Skoda with Social Media Shows. I want to thank all of you for your support through these last several years, and it's been a lot of fun. We've given people a voice they never had before. Now, Social Media Shows is always collaborate with our veterans to help them do things and help out the veterans who are struggling today. And we teamed up with GI Connections, GI Connections, connecting veterans with resources. So please consider helping and donating to this great cause because we're always doing things for veterans. So GI Connections, social media shows, and you is what makes the world a better place. Once again, Joseph Skoda, proud United States Air Force veteran. I'm not quite sure either. I'm not going to say that. Are we live? Yes. Oh, oh, we have live. been live. Oh my goodness. Hi guys, welcome back to the Silver State Film Festival in 2022 and we are here with Carla. Hi. Hi, so you have a film that just came out, right? Hey, Fanphobia. Congratulations, I got to go on your IMDb page and check you out, and uh, funny. Oh yeah, thank you very much. It's about my phobia of ceiling fans. Really? That's that's new. I hope you don't have it. Okay. I'm like, don't look up. You're okay. No, we're good here. <laughs> but congratulations. I'm very honored to meet you and have you here and interviewing you. Are you local to Vegas? Um, no, I live in Los Angeles. Okay, so you came all the way here to LA. To I, I did. To meet us. Yeah, it's an obvious. To hang out with the best yeah. dressed ladies on the BFFs red carpet. Now. We're BFFs. No, yeah. It is a good. Thank you. Thank you. So do you. So is this your first film or have you been doing this for some time? Um, this is my first short film. I wrote this a long time ago and then I got it made, but I have a feature film that I'm still trying to get made. So. And you're looking for some producers. I'm looking for some, yeah, producers. <laughs> so and so how can they find you? Where do they look um, you up? Well, okay, so obviously fan phobia movie on Twitter, Instagram, it's F-A-N, um, and I did a play on words, F-O-B-I-A, right, instead of the real, the real word phobia, yeah. and then, um, so you can follow my Instagram, Miss Funny Guy, I have it all okay. across the board that way, um, I don't know, Google me, <laughs> but um, no, then I have my other film that I'm trying to make, the Tales from Fat City, so which is based on my life, and it's it's a feature film, and it's hilarious. I love funny, so you might, yeah. you might find a producer here today. Maybe. We. Yeah. <laughs> We're in Vegas. We are in Vegas. Hey, We're I'm hanging Vegas. with the high rollers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what else do you want to share about um, maybe the people that you cast? Oh. Yeah. Okay. How did you find them? How did you connect them to your movie? 
Okay, so I use Backstage to cast, and I also use LA Casting. And um, I had two comedians in there that I know, Jonesy and Jason Renneveu. Jason Renneveu is currently on the tour with Nick Schwartzen. So that's a big one. Um, the other actress, she's all over the television. Like she, every time I turn on a TV, she's in a. Oh, she's in another role. Yes, I was during. You know, I forgot when it was. I was like on the TV, and I'm like, oh, there she is. She's on whatever show it was, and I was like, she's on another one. So she's she's actually really talented. I think she brought the the therapist role to life. I love it. Yeah. And, and for your role, I mean, were you just being you, or did you also um, put like a character flaw into no, your I, role? No, I was just being me because, yeah, I was just being me. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the best way. It makes your yeah, you know, because you know authentic. what I had to do. I produced it, directed it, wrote it, and I was in it. So it's kind of like you had to like, and then yeah, and then or, like you know when the sound guy couldn't make it, you had to get another sound person. So I was constantly trying to uh, be in the moment, but also. Make managing sure. everything else behind the scenes. Yes. Right. And so that's what happens when you have low-budget films, right? You have to do what you have to do. You learn. You're the jack of all trades. Yeah. You can do it by yourself now, basically. If right. you really had to, you know, knowing all of it is great. I, I got it. Right. <laughs> I was like A through Z. <laughs> <laughs> what, if you could, if, are you more and want to be a director, actress? What is your main uh, gravitating towards? Well, that is a good, crust, good, uh, yeah. good question because I do like acting, but... After doing this film, and obviously I, I'm a writer too, I do comedy so I can write, mm -hmm. um, but I like the directing part of it. Yeah, it was fun to direct it, it was fun producing it. Now, uh, mm -hmm. I think so, I think so. I mean, obviously Hitchcock always, always put himself in these little films, but well, that's how you do it. Yeah. I, mean, I know a lot of people out there the directing, but also, you know, a little bit, people can put a name to the face because they're yeah. not going to really know. Uh, the crew side. A lot yeah. of the, the, the crowd that's watching you is like, our viewers here. Um, She's yeah, all, wrap it up. Wrap it up. I hope you did that, the exit how you came in. Though. That was, was fun. That was fun. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to um, share with anybody here? Uh, no, I think it's great. I love, love the film festival. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm getting little well, winks on the side over here. <laughs> well, it's been an honor. It's an honor to have you. She is here. Carla Guy, everyone. Thank you, ladies. All right. Picture. We're going to get a picture first. Hello, sir. How are you? I love the whole love thing. This is amazing. We're kind of like matching in a way, all the bling. So, what is your name? My name is Juan Sadala. I am a filmmaker and actor from Venezuela originally. Oh, amazing. Um, my film uh, is called Ants Walking Over an Armpit. It's an experimental film uh, co directed with uh, the author of the play, uh, Jajaira Salazar. Uh, it was a theater play in Venezuela, mm -hmm. and during the pandemic, we decided to adapt it into film because nothing was happening in the world of art um, and theater. So uh, we created this eight-minute film, and it's been received wonderfully all over the place. And it's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's a great surprise. And yeah. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, now we have you here. We have the honor to meet you, <laughs> yeah. and all that work yeah. brought you here. Is that what you were wanting it to be, just eight minutes? Yes, eight, eight minutes wanted... and 12 seconds, okay. yes. Yes. Um, what I didn't hear all of the, the strategy behind it. What oh. made you come up with this? Oh, during the pandemic, uh, everything was in pause. The art world was like nothing was happening. And this friend of mine, uh, she lives in France and lives in Los Angeles. She uh, wrote to me and she said, "Let's let's do this. This is my play. I wrote this play in the nineties. No, she wrote it in the nineties, and uh, we adapted into into film." Um, yeah, it was. But that was from the '90s, so this was how many years in the making? Well, the play was written in 1990, and it played in Venezuela for a long time. A dear friend of ours originated the main character, which I play in the movie, and uh, unfortunately, he passed away of AIDS. 
Uh, so during the pandemic, we thought about him, the other pandemic, you know, where he was a victim of, and we feel we figure, well, let's do this, dedicated to him, and uh, and try to do something, you know, and make something happen. Meaningful. Yeah. Now my question is, how did you prepare for this role? Okay, it was very interesting because the 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 play is about uh, assisted suicide. So it, my character is very disturbed mentally. So uh, it was interesting to be in the in the moment as an actor, but also be in the moment as the director. Oh, so you had the hats of both. Both, yeah. What is that like? Is that, I'm seeing a lot of award winners here had the hats of both sides. Yes, it was it was very interesting. It was a challenge. I uh, I um, I figured well. Let's, let's try to do it, let's do our best. I was satisfied with the product and then people started saying, send it to festivals. And uh, I figured, okay, let's do this. And uh, like I said, it's been welcomed all over the place and I'm very uh, happy and uh, humble with the whole experience. You know, I can tell how humble you are. I love hearing you, I love how much passion you have. Like this, this man exudes art, humbleness, and I'm very, very, very honored to meet you here, sir. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much and lovely to meet you too. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just get one photo sure. with your fabulous outfit. Sure. Great. One more Great. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank you Pleasure. Much. You have a good night. Pleasure. I love your Thank outfit. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. And it looks like we have a line of people ready to come get interviewed. So, hello, sirs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Priscilla, and that is Nicole. What is your name, sir? Mike Mayhem. Mike. Sir, what is your name? I'm Kit Dennis. Dennis. Nice to meet you, Priscilla. Dennis and Mike. So, can you tell us a little bit about, you have a film coming? Yes. At the film sec okay. The film is, What's It Like to Be a Nude Model Wonder Hustle. Wonder oh, Hustle. that's different. A nude model? Yes. I wish my chair here in that, right? Okay. Right. <laughs> that's, that's Sarah Jane. That's beautiful. Oh. I mean, can I hold one? So yeah, you can sure, just show, sure. the, show the viewers. Yeah. While you're talking about yeah. it. Yeah. So would you mind telling us a little bit about the film and like what was the inspiration well, behind the film? The film is please. about, go ahead, no, please. <laughs> yes, no, it's letting the model talk. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. As a photographer, I like to hear from the model, what's it like and what are you doing? Right. And she talks about what's it like to be on the other side of the camera. What's it like to have the male gaze, to face the male gaze? Strange men coming yeah. to Las Vegas, meeting her for the first time, going out and doing and, this. And she's, she is... It's like an art model. And she, she, but she, and she knows the desert. She introduced us to the place of Las Vegas, the places around Las Vegas, the land, the people, the interesting sites. We've known her... We're friends, so it's been about seven or eight years. Movie over time. She's been, you know, as a model, and then we got into video, and we decided, hey, let's put some of our videos into a movie, and next thing you know, here we are. Nice. So you guys aren't from here originally. You, you moved out here. To... Yeah. Well, I live in Los Angeles okay. now. Okay. I'm from Nashville. Okay. And uh, the person who did the you know, kit and the per we have uh, Michael San Leon did the music. So he's a friend of mine, a musician, a guitar player, I'm a bass player. So we played in bands and then we brought him along after a couple of times and he put his two cents in and next thing you know, he's writing songs just for Wonder Hussy, which are presented in, in this video. And one of the songs he wrote was the ballad of Wonder Hussy. So yeah. Oh, all right. So that's sort of and, the, um, the big adventures in the desert. She so has a show. Really a photographer. You, I'm a musician and an actor. And an actor, actor yeah. An actor. Right. Okay. Gorgeous. I mean, really Gorgeous. captivated everything. The smile, the colors, the textures, the layers uh, in this photo are really gorgeous. She was, she, this is from a shoot in Joshua Tree when we shot the music video with the ballad, the ballad Wonder Hussies. So there's a, a music video about her, and there's music because she is a performer. What and did you discover? When you filmed her, what did you discover on her and what she experiences? Okay, we were in a shoot, and 
I had shot road trip footage. She was going to introduce it, and I'd written some lousy lines. They were terrible. And she was frustrated, and I was shooting. So finally, she takes it upon herself. She's sitting at the driver's wheel of the car to introduce a road trip. So she says, sit up, sit down, shut up, I'm driving. So she took charge. She took charge, took the scene, took control. She takes control of the scene immediately. And all I had to do was show up. I would have loved to meet her in person. She'll right be here now. tomorrow. Amazing. All right. She'll be yeah. here tomorrow. You guys come back tomorrow? 4 p.m. No, no, it's a couple days after. We'll... Our, our screening tomorrow, but. Well, congratulations. So we'll be yeah. back. Thank you. We're thrilled to be here. Thrilled to be here. Yeah, I can't wait. So, She's a great lady. What it's like to be a nude model, Wonder Hussy. Pleasure to meet you guys. It's an honor. I'm so glad to have you here and interview you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Nice you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Take a quick Let's picture. Take a picture. Thank you guys Thank you. so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Oh, very cool. That's really wow. different. I love meeting all the different. That. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. I would love to see that one. Yeah, so it looks like we have a long line. Yeah, we do. We have a long line, guys. So let's welcome our next guest. Hi. How are you doing? Welcome, Priscilla. How are you doing? Good, Neil. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. So. I'm assuming you have a film premiering here at the film festival. Uh, actually, you have two. Oh, you two! Yeah. Tell us, what are the names of these? Uh, films? So I have Iris, which is a short film, co-directed and DP that one, okay. and that's premiering 9:30 on Saturday. And then I have Blood Covered Chocolate, which is a feature, wow. and that's a tripped out psychedelic black and white vampire film. Amazing. Uh, and DP to produce that one. Amazing. Yeah. Want to have what two films? Blood, uh, blood covered chocolate. Blood covered chocolate. Yeah. I would probably eat it because I like chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's a fun time. Perfect time. Right, that's how you trick people. Vampire Yeah, yeah. Just a little, little yeah, painful, yeah, but yeah. sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how long have you been in the film industry? Uh, pretty much all through college up okay. to now. So good, yeah, like. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah many, so many too, years like, in it. You got yeah. two films from me, which is a great accomplishment. Yeah, it's just fun to even have one, let alone two, right now. And, Meeting a lot of good filmmakers out there. Yeah, well, thank I you. I know how you came up with that. So I didn't write these, but I was brought on to help out, and like some good friends got to get like a band of uh, creatives out there in LA. So oh, yeah. yeah. I, I want to. I like really want to see that one. I don't know why something with vampires, and it is close to Halloween. Halloween. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We were in by chocolate blood vampires. Yeah. Okay. We were hoping we were going to premiere on Halloween, but one day off isn't so right. bad. But so. it's still in the yeah. spirit. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Right. So it's the right weekend to premiere this Yeah, thing. and you yeah. came in from L.A.? Or you I did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any plans of maybe thinking you might bring anything to Vegas? Because I know a lot of people are trying to do that now, and Vegas is a hot city. It's named yeah. Second Hollywood recently. Right. What's well, funny, the director of Blood Covered Chocolate is actually a Vegas native. Oh, okay. So it's wow. kind of a homecoming for him. He gets to see his family. What's it? Uh, Monty Light is his name. So he'll be here for the premiere on Sunday. Okay. And, yeah. So if we can't bring any projects to Vegas, we'll at least bring a lot of Vegas natives here. So, yeah. 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 So how can they find you through social media? Uh, so neiltylerworkshop.com is my website. And then it's the same handle for Instagram and pretty much everything else there. All and that's, right. I'm going to hit you up. Has my projects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what kind of workshop? I have like you Well, <laughs> what kind of workshop is I do too much to just say one thing. So it's directing so and writing, well, DP and everything else. Out. Yeah, but yeah. it's just it's all encompassing. Just going to the workshop and making stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 Congratulations yeah. On yeah congrats. Thanks so much. I'm excited to see both of your short and your feature films. Yeah. So, so Saturday and Sunday night both. So. Well, I'll, Sunday then. I'll yeah. Sunday perfect. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday at seven thirty. We'll be there. All right. All right. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank you. Yeah. Let's get a quick picture. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't want you to trip on this cord. You don't want to be in hurt. I still have two more, three more days left. All right. We're going to have the next guest come on. Oh, beautiful. We have some sparkles. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sean. Nice to meet you. Priscilla, nice to meet you. Darren. So tell us a little about are you guys here as actors, producers, uh, writers, director, writer, actor, producer, all, all of the above. The above then. Uh, writer, director for this one. 
Okay, and what film are you premiering here? No, ladies first. Oh, I am premiering two on Sunday called Question Everything and You Don't Deserve This. Amazing. So are they comedies or dramas? Tell us a little about those. They're drama narratives, kind of experimental in style a little bit and uh, very poetic. That's amazing. So are you guys Vegas locals or? Now, yeah. No. Now okay, Vegas so you locals. guys are Originally from Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. Congratulations getting two of them here at the film festival. Yes. Like, I'm sure it's going to be a big hit. You look dressed for the part. You guys look <laughs> like bosses. They're ready. Trying. Trying. I would like to share a little bit about her role. What's her character role? And also about how they can find her and you on no, social media. Fine. But I, I, I'm curious. Sure, yeah. Um, on Instagram, I'm at Sean Riley. Um, and my character in the first film is a woman that's caught in a lucid dream. And the second one, my character is a woman that's dealing with a lot of uh, unresolved issues and looking for closure. So it's really deep. Yeah. Really yes, really of course. That's, that's amazing, huge. though. That's huge. It's great. That's, that's awesome. why, good. That's why Deep you is always it. good. Is that why you won? Because that was like you brought it all. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Psychological yeah. stuff is, is where I land. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a horror psychological. That's mine on uh, tonight, 9.30, Hard As It Gets. Uh, yeah, it's about a, a city councilman going door to door in the neighborhood looking for votes, and he gets caught up with a crazy man who has a thirst for corrupt individuals, basically. Yeah. So. That's really good. I, I like, like, what happened from there? Yeah, know, oh, like, no, you have to come see it tonight, 9.30. So come see it, 9.30, Hard As It Gets. But I do follow you on Facebook. Yes. Yeah, I know, we're like Facebook. I was like, oh, this is so familiar. Cool. I felt left out. I was like, oh my god, I'm like a third so wheel. Sad. What's going on? I'm just and now we know. Now we're all going to get to know each other. So, is there anything else you want to share, or do you have anything upcoming? Is there anything um, besides the directing, which I'm finding out both direct and also as an actress, which one is more? Would, I mean, is it? I really love acting. I think ultimately I want to go more into directing, and I have two feature films coming down the pipeline, so they're in development right now. Can you share it, or? Oh, uh, they're is both it on based... the IMVD page. Is yeah, they're check? they're both on IMVD. Okay. Sean Riley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can look at them there. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you want to share about you and? Uh, not at the moment. I'm good. Just come tonight, 9:30, and you'll see. Uh... What the fun's about? <laughs> Welcome to Vegas. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect for Halloween. Yes, you have a bloody good time, no doubt. <laughs> thank you so much, and welcome right. to well, Vegas. Thank you. And, uh, I'm excited to uh, support you guys in any way. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Congratulations. Right. Let's get a couple photos. Oh, we're not. Oh. Don't wear my shoes. <laughs> I didn't wear the right shoes. Let me get one without my glasses. Oh, without my shine. Oh. Without my shine. I know, we were prepared. <laughs> yeah. Came out of nowhere. You can do the shiny ones, not me. <laughs> Thank you guys so Thank much. You. It's an honor. Thank All right. you. Congratulations again. All right, and it's time for our next guest. Hi, sir. How are you? I mean, so much talent too, and I, I want to watch I'm them all. I'm so overwhelmed by this talent. Oh, Hi, sir. Oh. What is your name? I'm Steve. Steve, Priscilla, nice to meet you. Hi, Hi. I'm Kayla. Kayla, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you I love your top. Oh, Gorgeous. You. And your purple thank lips. You. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> thank you. All right. That, by the way, this the, that's fantastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's, yes. I mean, you're, you, that dress is great too, but this thing, gold, no, this, this is, is bling gold. for you. Yeah. Perfect for the occasion. That's Absolutely. The, that's the star. That's everything. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about yourself. You're obviously here. It's an honor to have you here. I'm blessed to interview you guys. Thank and you. So tell us, you have a film here? Are you an actor, director? Uh, I'm a director. This time around, I'm also an actor. But um, this lovely musician over here wrote a really great song, and she asked me to help her with a music video. I said I would direct, but I would not shoot it. I have a guy named uh, Ajela who. Uh, Ijela Bandele, he's a great DP that I worked with on this project, and it was a collaboration more than more than me just taking in command. But it was a really, it's a very good song and it's a very good, very good video. I'm very proud of it. Amazing! And tell us a little about the, the music. So, um, what's your genre? I am a pop, and this genre does have some like uh, this song has some Amy Lee vibes because okay. I do a really high pitched uh, chorus for the song. But it's uh, basically like a little bit of an alternative pop genre. Would you say that? Yeah, I also think uh, it sounds a little like Enya. It's like it's sort of like um, like chill electronic pop. 
Yeah. Yeah. I can see it. I can see the whole vibe. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to get it better, like a little yeah. rock, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's it. called Broken Mirror. It's kind of, um, I wrote it as a song, like a declaration to myself when I was going through a little bit of an identity crisis. You see me wearing, um, like, white dress, a black dress. They, like, this, the black dress symbolizes, like, how I was viewing myself at that time. The white dress is how I know God sees me. And then those... Uh, those identities fighting each other and finally coming out like knowing like I'm gonna get through this right. that's amazing you know? like it's something that's so personal to you I'm sure yeah. that you put a lot into this and I, I really love how the, the song and the video truly um, speaks to not just her experience but a lot of a lot of people's experience yeah. it's very relatable Yes, I tried to write in a way that even if it wasn't exactly what somebody else was going through what I was going through uh, I try to write in a way that whatever people's personal experiences are, they can make their own relation. You know what I mean? And that's why I was so excited to direct it, is that the, um, oftentimes, especially in, a, in, the, in, the, in our industry, I'm assuming, yeah. that um, mental health is a really big issue. And, if, and people f are, feel so isolated. Right. And there's always somebody going through something that you're going through the same thing, but because you either don't know them or you're not talking, you think you're alone, and um, the song makes it so you don't feel so alone. Yeah, this song basically tells you like you're not alone, even though you it might feel like it, but just right. keep going. Right? Yeah. It's, it's it's a song just to encourage people to to find that hope because we can all find hope. You know, right. and this industry is very hard. There's a lot of pressure, and people think it's so easy, it's so glamorous. But I always tell many people that don't know of the pressure and sometimes you do you don't know who's real who really likes you for you and so you really don't know well nobody you know? gets into this if they're if they're well adjusted yeah <laughs> yeah i was i was at this point where i didn't know if i wanted to start over or if i wanted and, and like create a new identity for myself or to pick up the broken pieces and that's like broken mirror i'm trying to grab myself without bleeding but sometimes you have to do the ugly work the hard work to yeah. pick yourself up and to accept yourself for, for some of the broken pieces, yes, that's because right. we are all, every human being that I know, I don't know any person that doesn't have a little bit of a broken mirror of their past, right. you know? That, that is 100% yeah. true, and anyone that says they have we're it is lying. Yes, yeah. Yeah. we're very complex. So are you guys local to here? No, we're, uh, we drove in from LA this from morning. LA. Okay, LA. Um, well, pleasure to have you here, it's an honor to meet you guys. Yeah. Thank you, yes. and nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. There's there's so much that we know through music. Like I'm a musician too, and when I'm feeling down or some sort of emotion, there's always some song somewhere that will speak to that in some way. If I'm happy, there's there's a few songs like that. But if I'm really lonely and depressed there's so much music out there that that speaks even if it's not like a positive song it still speaks to me making me feel like i'm not alone anymore yeah so uh, my social media is at kayla birch music and that's spelled k-a-y-l-a b as in boy u-r-c-h and then music and uh, you can find her song Broken Mirror on YouTube. And uh, it's doing pretty good right on YouTube. Uh, my name's Steve Brock. Uh, you can find me bloody where all anywhere. Um, uh, it's either Steve Brock on a lot of things, but if, if that doesn't work, then it's Steve Brock Actor, which is on uh, TikTok and Instagram as Steve Brock Actor. Perfect, thank you guys. Yes, thank you so much. Have a great day. Yes, let's take one photo before you head out. Thank you guys Thank you. again. Congratulations. Okay, that was so beautiful. Yes, I love meeting musicians and hearing their stories. Yes. All right, and let's just welcome our next guest. He has some amazing shoes. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. David, I love the shoes. Love the ties. Gorgeous. 
Hi. And this is Nicole. Hi, Nicole. David. Thank you. Thank you again. So, sir, do you have a film coming out? Tell us a little about yourself. Actor, director, writer? I'm executive producer of a project called Spots. Okay. A short film uh, directed by Tammy Sozel. We're from Western Canada. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. So nice to meet you. An honor to have you here. It's thank a pleasure. you. It's great to be here at the, at the festival and being in Vegas is always a good thing. So. And so when is your um, movie premiering this weekend? We screened at 6 o'clock in the okay. short block, um, and that was the U.S. premiere. We had, a, I suppose, an international premiere with a Toronto uh, festival um, in late July. I think we won Best Short. Oh, amazing. For the, sorry, I'm blanking on the name of the festival, and that's terrible. You're but, just so good. You're in just so many. You just win all of them. So you just you just right. lose track. That's right. You lose track. We're on the Spots World Tour right now. We screen here this week, and then in uh, Tennessee, in Nashville next week, and then LA the following. Oh, week. amazing! Well, big congrats to you. And can you tell us a little bit about the film? Sure. The film was um, it was sort of a COVID COVID project, as a lot of the films we're seeing are. Um, the director uh, had a story that she wanted to tell, kind of about being. Um, on the outside looking in. It's about uh, invisible differences and it's two identical creatures um, who live in very different worlds who are brought together by a magical song. Well, amazing. That's different. I have a question. What made you decide to jump on board as an executive producer on this? Out of all the films you could have help support? Well, the, the director is a visual artist that I've been working with for a long time. Uh, I have a, an art gallery in Edmonton and I um, you know, I staunchly try and support um, contemporary artists. Um, she started as a painter and has sort of branched out into all different media, including sculpture and installation, and film and video became a part of that. Uh, and then from there, we just thought that the the moving image stuff that she was doing was strong enough that it could stand in the in, on its own in an indie festival sort of realm and so this was her second production that we've uh, had and the first one um, the Valise showed at a number of festivals in North America and in Central America uh, and now this new project has got screenings in three continents and congratulations that's yeah. huge yeah it's, it's it's great it's she's a great um, director to be working with she has an amazing vision and what's her name again Tammy Sozel just checking yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that she's, I should say, she's the director, writer, editor, she does Where's the whole many thing. Hats, yeah. Many, many, many hats. Done, Absolutely. You all that and not get something yeah. done. Yeah. Exactly. And yet, here I am and standing in front of the camera. Exactly. Dude, also, but you're, you're also sharing with the viewers um, who to connect to, who they can be inspired by. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it, when you started in the industry, I didn't know. I started last year. I had no idea who was right, who was wrong. I didn't know where to start. Right. At least this is a place. It's a solid place. They do the work. Get awards, too. Yeah. Multiple awards. Yeah, that's amazing. That's, ama yeah. that's amazing. that's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's been a lot of fun to be part of her project and super proud of what we've been able to make. Accomplishing so. it. Yeah. yeah. Is, any, book, any books? In the, anybody writing books? Is there anything? Uh, book writing? Mm, I've... I've been I've been I mean, pushing because she writes some pretty dark children's tales, so oh, I'd love to see them as a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you do also do art. Will you ever do anything with the art district here in Las Vegas? They have an art gallery there. Um, you know that's it's a very different world. Um, I I'd love to see her work wherever it's going to go, right? Um, but uh, yeah, it's. They're, they're two worlds that sort of run in parallel, but there's not a lot of crossover. So I think what sh what Tammy is doing is really special. It is. Yeah, yeah. everything sounds really uh, interesting and fascinating with the concepts and the storyline. And I want to see these films. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, he's already won so many awards. Obviously, yeah. it's, it's amazing in its own right, and you're traveling everywhere with it. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Don't leave me. Oh, 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 well, it's just going to be us. I mean, <laughs> amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here and doing an interview with us. It's a pleasure to have you all the way from Canada. Thank you very much. It's great to yes. both of you, and I hope you enjoy the whole, the whole festival. Absolutely. Yes, of course. Absolutely. All right, so let's get one photo, and then I'll send you on your way. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. Thank you again. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, and I don't want you to trip on the, the wire. Thank you. Amazing. All right, now we have our next guest coming here. Hello. There's a lot. I know. Hi, I'm Priscilla. What's your name? Glenda. Glenda. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nicole Vegas. Nice to meet you. Those are so beautiful. Oh, thank you. So are you. I love your eyeshadow and your lashes. Amazing. So tell us a little about you know why you're here. You're actor, producer, director. All of it. I'm basically a rebel without a crew, as my old boss would say. I used to work for Robert Rodriguez. I was his assistant years ago. Um, and basically, I decided to leave the film industry to be a stay-at-home mother, and this is sort of my comeback. I kind of did what he said. He said, pick up a camera and shoot. So I did it all by myself. It's a story of a lonely stay-at-home mother who summons an ink and priestess version of herself from another dimension, and it's their conversation on motherhood. So I might have to get some ideas. I've been a stay-at-home mom for a very long time, too, and it's constantly doing and giving and serving. At least on this end, you do get paid. I mean, this is one way for me to do something for myself and be creative. And also to show her that I'm 40 now. So it's also There's nothing show. wrong with, I'm at 43. There's you know nothing what? wrong with that. We, we are representing in our 40s. Absolutely. Yes. And for me, I just want her to know that at any age, any stage in your life, you can pursue your dreams. So it was, that part was important to me. Um, and yeah, there was nobody. I didn't have. My husband helped a little bit. He's a film they sometimes trailer. sometimes do, huh? They like do. a little bit. <laughs> they do. <laughs> He's a film trailer editor, so he helped me. I did a first cut of the film, and then he kind of, you know, finessed it. Um, and occasionally, like 10% of the time, he held the camera for me. But I was actually like setting up the camera and running in between scenes to shoot myself. Love it. So. Um, where can people connect with you on social media, especially uh, us uh, stay-at-home moms yeah. normally? Yes. And how did you um, transition from being stay at home? Because that is so much uh, time with your children, and then stepping into the film industry, which is a lot. It's very consuming. Yes. No, it's very consuming. It's honestly why I walked away because I was working in film, and in order to work in film, a lot of times you have to devote 16, 12 hour days. But this has been a nice tr transition because I'm basically making my own schedule. Um, I sort of see that alter side of uh, the summoning of a... Uh, yes, well that's the other thing too is that I've been really in touch with my indigenous side. And so I wanted to like explore a character that perhaps wasn't conquered by conquistadors, that perhaps had superpowers. Um, so it, in that sense it was fun to fantasize about a character like that and a version of myself like that. So, I, you know, I put face paint, I put a crown, you know, I, I dressed like an indigenous character who did not endure what my, you know, indigenous heritage endured. So that was kind of really empowering. So you're representing and you're giving power back to the woman that um, pretty much do it all. Yes, yes. And they usually don't know how to ask for help because they're just, they just get it done. They don't yes. even, they can't ask for help because they probably will make it more work. I yes. don't know. Women are amazing. It's crazy what we can do with our bodies, with our time for our children, for people, um, it, it, we are powerful. And the more we support each other, the more important it is. Like, you know, I, I've received a lot of support from family and friends, you know, but the most beautiful thing is seeing the women that have come and, you know, shown me support and come out to see the film, you know. Um, and you could find me online at GG Film, so G-I-G-I-F-I-L-M. On Instagram, um, and my film is on there. I, I tag it on my Instagram. Yeah, too. It would be like finding you, GG Films, and <laughs> hi. <laughs> well, you are very inspirational. I'm so lucky that Thank we got you. to meet you and hear your story, and I love how personal this is to you. I'm Thank sure you. that you're sharing a lot and inspiring other moms at home to like even so. make it creative. You know, yeah. like you can do I'm anything. Older women, because remember, I'm like saying I'm so old, and you're like, stop it, Nicole. I know. But it's hard because like, starting like in the '40s is something different in yes. this film industry. Yeah. It's just a it's whole different. new ball game. Of, but um, we, I think we could break that, you know, stereotype. Even in, like, I love Marvel films and stuff, but we still need to see, like, a female lead, you know, take on a, uh, you know, right now Ant-Man Paul Rudd, he's 50. Um, the Rock is 50. 
So I want to see a woman like yeah. at her fifties. Yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. Amazing. Well, it's been an honor to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Congratulations for coming Thank here you. and having your film you. be presented to so many Thank people. You. Let's get one Thank photo you. before you leave. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Walk okay. behind. Oh, I don't want to trip on this. Yeah. All right. Well, that was an amazing red carpet. I think we've got the sure no one's gonna break I know. I just want to make sure we got everybody. One more. See, I knew it. That's See. why I was looking around. I was like, no, this can't be that easy. <laughs> But really talented, and I, I know, love it's women. Amazing. They're all um, different. I love it. Yeah, they're all. We're good. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys. Well, that was our red carpet today for the Silver State 2022 Film Festival. I am Priscilla Moy and Nicole Vegas. And I was so honored to interview with the fabulous Nicole Vegas on this red carpet. So see you on the next one. Have a great day, guys. And make sure to come out and get your tickets to come yeah. to this festival. Absolutely. At the Orleans Century 18 Theater. And one yes. more thing. If you ever want to get a personal interview, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, go through the social media network. Yes. Well, social media shows, show the social media network, and contact Maria Pereza. And you can be on either of our shows. I'm the host of Undiscovered. And Vegas Views. All right. And we will see you on the big screen. Bye.